Hello, and welcome to our annual Longevity Awards recognition video. My name is Jeffrey Thiel, and I'm the Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources for the Chula Vista Elementary School District. This year, we are honoring 375 district employees who have worked in the district for 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40 years. Through this video, we hope to share our appreciation and gratitude for the dedicated efforts of these amazing employees. We wish we could have been for the, in person for this event, but we hope to display the same amount of enthusiasm and excitement in this video as we would have at a live event. By now, you should have received your certificate and pin through the U.S. mail. Wearing your pin proudly as I am doing with my 20-year pin that I received this year. We know that you are the employees that have dedicated yourselves to our district and have committed your career to assisting in the education of the children of Chula Vista. You are the ones that teach our students every day. You are the ones that clean and make our classrooms and campuses a good learning environment. You are the ones that courteously answer our telephones and listen to all the concerns that our parents and community express. You are the ones that transport our students by bus to school on a daily basis. You are the ones who work one-on-one -on -one with students and support classroom instruction. You are the ones who put band-aids on cuts, dry tears, soothe aches, and make sure there is someone there when a child needs medical assistance. You are the ones who provide support and assistance for students with special needs, test and diagnose issues, and provide comfort in times of need. You are the ones that provide leadership and support for teachers and staff at the site, school sites and at the district level. You are the ones that have made the Chula Vista Elementary School District the progressive, successful, innovative, and renowned school district that it is. So sit back and enjoy the presentation. And again, as the saying goes, it takes a village. So thanks for being part of our village. Hello, my name is Dr. Eduardo Reyes, and I am the president of our School Board of Education. It is my honor to represent the board in congratulating our employees for their service to our district, but in particular, the service to our students and families. We're only as strong as our people, and I can assure you, we have the best people working and collaborating to make our system the best it can be. Welcome. I am Francisco Escobedo, proud superintendent of the Chula Vista Elementary School District. This will be our first and hopefully our last virtual longevity awards. Uh, typically we have a whole auditorium with family and friends together celebrating you. You are cherished employees who have worked from 10 all the way through 40 years at our district. And truly, even though we are the largest elementary school district in California, we still have that family feel. We cherish you. We appreciate your years of countless service, whether you're in the role of a custodian, secretary, administrator, teacher, you are all valued. Everyone has a very important role to ensure that our kids, our kids feel that they are an individual of great worth. So we're here to celebrate you for your countless years of service, for your dedication, for your blood and sweat, for our precious children. That was really amazing. Next, we honor the 116 employees who we recognize for 10 years of service with Chula Vista Elementary School District. Here are a few highlights of what was going on in 2010 when, we were, when they were hired. Barack Obama was president and Joe Biden was vice president. The US Senate, with President Obama's approval, officially repealed the don't ask, don't tell military policy. Time Magazine announces its 2010 Person of the Year, and it, and it was none other than Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. Interesting. In, in April 2010, Apple introduced the first ever iPad. The Hurt Locker was the Academy Award winning Best Picture. Toy Story 3 was the highest grossing movie of 2010. And Survivor was the number one television show. And the top song of the year, it was Single Ladies by Beyonce. Okay, on that note, let me again congratulate our amazing employees with 10 years of service here at Chula Vista Elementary School District.
Next, we honor their 118 employees for 50 years of service to Chula Vista Elementary School District. Here are a few highlights of what was going on in 2005 when they were hired. George W. Bush was president and Dick Cheney was vice president. Steve Fawcett became the first person to fly an airplane nonstop around the world solo without refueling. In 2005, the first ever YouTube video was uploaded. Yes, cat videos became viral in 2005. That was also the year that Million Dollar Baby was an Academy Award winning movie. American Idol was one of the top television shows. And the top song of the year, it was Daughters by John Meyer. So again, thank you for your amazing 50 years of dedicated service. Hello, my name is Peter Zeitler, and I'm the proud president of Chula Vista Classified Employee Organization. We know this year has been especially difficult for many, and I am very proud of our classified employees, many of whom have never stopped working throughout the pandemic. Even in the virtual reception, I hope you realize as I do that so many of our employees love coming to work, love the camaraderie with their coworkers, and love working in schools with our amazing students. It is with great pride that I extend congratulations to the 88 employees that we are recognizing for 20 years of service with CBESD. Before that, I'd like to first acknowledge two district employees with 40 years of service, Olivia Amador and Maria Hernandez Laval, and for 35 years of service, Marilyn Johnson. And now to honor our 20-year awardees. Here are a few highlights of what was going on in 2000 when they were hired. Bill Clinton was president, Al Gore was vice president. The first crew to the Live International Space Station arrived in space during November 2000. The mission called Expedition One was the first long-term stay totaling 136 days. In December of 2000, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled to end the re vote recount in Florida in the Bush versus Gore case, giving the presidency to George W. Bush after a prolonged legal battle following the election. Control of the Panama Canal joining the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean handed over the pan to Panama after 75 years of U.S. control. American Beauty was the Academy Award-winning movie Survivor was the number one television show, and Smooth with Carlos Santana and Rob Thomas was the song of the year. Isn't that something? Again, I thank you for your amazing 20 years of dedicated service.
My name is Susan Scala and I'm the proud president of Chula Vista Educators. In any other year, I would be congratulating our employees for their longevity awards in person. And yet, here we are, as they say. I can still express my heartfelt appreciation to all employees. And as CVE president, let me recognize the teachers and educators who have dedicated so much of themselves and so many years of service to the students and families in our district. Your impact will extend for generations into the future. All of our employees make a difference, and it is my honor to extend congratulations to each of the 37 employees who we are recognizing for 25 years of service with the CVESD. Here are a few of the highlights of what was going on in 1995, the year you were hired. Bill Clinton was president and Al Gore was vice president. The San Francisco 49ers defeated the San Diego Chargers in the Super Bowl. And yes, they were San Diego's team back then. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum opened in Cleveland, Ohio. Forrest Gump was the Academy Award winning movie. And life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And in 2020, we got a pandemic. ER was the number one television show in 1995, and The Streets of Philadelphia, sung by Bruce Springsteen, was the song of the year. Again, I want to thank you all for all your dedicated, amazing years. 25. Thank you so much. Now I have the opportunity to congratulate the 11 employees that we're recognizing for 30 years of service with the Chula Vista Elementary School District. Here are a few highlights of what was going on in 1990 when they were hired. George Bush Sr. was the 41st U.S. President and Dan Quayle was Vice President. East and West Germany were reunited as one country. Nelson Mandela is released from prison after 27 years. The World Wide Web was created, along with the first ever web page and web browser. Driving Miss Daisy was the Academy Award winning movie. The Simpsons and Seinfeld both debuted on television. And Wind Beneath My Wings, sung by Bette Midler, was the song of the year. So thank you again for your amazing 30 years of service to the Chula Vista Elementary School District. Now I have the opportunity to say congratulations to the three employees we are recognizing for their 35 years of service with CVESD. Congratulations to Deborah Botterman, Marilyn Johnson, and Laura McClendon. Here are a few highlights of what was going on in 1985 when these three were hired. Ronald Reagan was president, George Bush was vice president. Super Mario Brothers was released in Japan for the Nintendo Entertainment System. 
Coca-Cola changed its formula and released new Coke. The response was overwhelmingly negative and the original formula was back on the market in less than three months. Rock Hudson died of AIDS at the age of 59. Amadeus won the Academy Award for Best Movie. Madonna launched her first road tour, The Virgin Tour. And The Cosby Show was the number one television show. It was a different time. What Love's Got to Do With It, sung by Tina Turner, was the top song of the year. So with that said, thank you for your amazing 35 years of service. So it is with great honor that I recognize our 40 year employees. Think about that for a moment, 40 years of service. Congratulations to Ms. Olivia Amador and Ms. Maria Boval. Do you know what was going on in the 1980s when Ms. Mrs. Amador and Ms. Boval started working in our districts? Let me share you what was happening in 1980. Ronald Reagan was elected president. The US defeats the Soviet Union in ice hockey in what was labeled the miracle on ice. Sally Ride became the first U.S. woman astronaut. Sally Day O'Connell became the first woman U.S. Supreme Court Justice. The top song was Lady by Kenny Rogers. Noticing a trend here? Great stuff. The top movies to watch included Airplane, Coal Miner's Daughter, The Elephant Man, The Blues Brothers, and Star Wars fans, you know, 1980, was the year of the Empire Strikes Back. In all seriousness, thank you to our 40 year honorees. You are truly amazing. I want to do a special shout out to two specific employees who've been in our district for four decades, 40 years. First, Olivia Amador, who has been an instructional assistant and amazing individual who's been working and dedicating her life to our precious children and also Maria Lovall who's a student attendant and has been working with multiple students our special ed students so really appreciate both of you for your dedication your patience and the amazing legacy not only the legacy you've left in this district but the legacy you left and the countless lives through those four decades. Thank you. Let me close on a virtual longevity reception by honoring all employees during this period of COVID-19 which has tested all of us in many ways we never imagined. Through all the changes and challenges, there has been one constant, you, the employees. You have made a profound difference this year. Let us remember and honor those who had all also made a lasting impact for 10 years, all the way to 40 years of service. I thank and congratulate each one of you. You are truly amazing. Thank you.